All right, folks, so today, today we are dock fishing. Uh, I'm trying to rip some fish out of the docks. Uh, targeting anything that really eats crabs, so uh, sheep's head, redfish, black drum. It's kind of the, the trifecta we're going after. Uh, you do any saltwater fishing, this kind of pertains to you. Southern half of the country, what I just said. Uh, northern part of the country, you know, toe tug and porgy and black sea bass. So, uh, that miles of docks to work and throw crabs under and try to pick apart. So all I brought today with me was a box of bottom finger jigs, range from 3 8 ounce to 1 ounce, a pile of crabs, I've got both blue crabs and mud crabs with me, and today's video is sponsored by Trade, Trade Coffee. Um, I get a lot of solicitations uh, here and there that are you know, not really my thing, but uh, one of the things that are very relevant to myself and just the ability to, to fish is having coffee and I drink a lot of coffee. I grind my own beans every morning and put it in the French press. Sometimes I bring it with me on the water, sometimes I drink it in the car. So, But I cannot get my day started to have my just my mojo going without a cup of coffee. So I'm a big fan of like French roast. Any real dark roast coffee kind of my thing. Uh, so To find your perfect cup of coffee, go to drinktrade.com, take their quick quiz, and get matched with one of Trade's 400 different coffees from 50 of America's best coffee roasters. I got some dead blue crabs that I just had in my freezer. Definitely not my preferred bait choice, but uh, these guys are going to rot out the fastest. Uh, casual stuff today. We got a swallow in the ocean. Uh, we can target sheep's head. We haven't done much sheep's head fishing try to yank a couple of good fish out of these docks. My rule, if the crab smells bad, don't use it. You don't want stinky crabs, but uh, you can use quarter crabs, you can use half crabs. Depends on the situation a little bit for sure. We're fishing the last hour of the outgoing tide here, and then we're gonna fish the whole incoming, hopefully with the incoming being a producer. All right, the way you, I like to sheep's head fish, got 25 pound leader here. I like to have one rod, with about a half ounce or three eighths ounce jig and then another rod with a one ounce right so why do, why do you want to have two setups the current's going to dictate uh, your likeliness of those fish dropping it a lot of the times these sheeps that hit and uh, if uh, current's pretty mild you use the one ounce jig or an ounce and a half they'll pick it up and drop it it always changes based on conditions how these fish want to eat so uh, if you need if you have mild current, you want to fish a light jig. If you have heavy current, you're going to need to fish a heavy jig. And you can't just answer the whole problem of the equation with a heavy jig is you'll hook nothing. So right now, based on the current and how I see it moving, probably won't need too much. Uh, I think we'll start with a half ounce on a quarter blue crab and take it from there. See, you, see what bites. Please don't be a toad. No, he ain't a toad. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you don't. It's red. Cool. That's gotta be red, right? Guess that's a good way to start it, but not really what we were going out here for. Nice fish, though. It's a good Cape Fear fish, man. Definitely a decent one. Cool. All right, this right here is a, it's a pretty decent red drum. Right, 34, 35 inches. It's like a half ounce bottom sweeper jig. Uh, targeting sheep's head. And a good quality fish to top it off. That was cool. I had a feeling that's what that was mid-fight. 
got lucky getting that one out of the structure too. All right, so uh, it's always exciting. Still not what we want, but still that's good. Good sign of life. Good fish. Can't complain. Um, yeah, we should probably just retie real quick. Sheep's head. God, crafty little f huh? Black drum, huh? Man, we can't find the sheeps. All right, it's the black drum, yeah. All right, it's good, it's good. We're catching fish, but I don't know. The, the darker color variety drum. Uh, it's still not what I'm kind of gunning for here. I gotta look. I guess I gotta keep looking. Maybe the incoming tide's gonna produce the sheeps. That's not a bad black drum. And uh, this is a good eating fish, actually. But uh, I'm gonna wait till, you know, winter time. I like keeping them out of the colder water when the water's in the 50s. I find they have less of a muddy taste. A lot more clean and... They start tasting more like toe tog, but man, look how dark this one is. Oh, well, he's good, good quality fish still, so. See what that is. Damn. Nice sheep. First one saw. All right. Not a giant, but he'll do. Got to get him around my paddle. Locked out there. Nice fish, that'll do. I guess we're figuring something out here. Decent one. Uh, we'll keep a couple of these. I don't need too much meat, but I'm gonna keep a couple. Okay. These guys are pretty good, especially around that size. Nice. Uh, to my to guys up north who are watching this, this is identical to toe tog fishing. Uh, so it kind of applies to the whole coast, you know, you can really do this sort of fishing anywhere on the coast um, You know what you might catch doing this and it'll probably vary a little bit, but uh, Yeah, so how did that go down? Well tried one spot and got You know two drum which was which is cool, man. I like that you get a lot of variety doing this stuff, too This is not one-dimensional fishing by any means uh you can fish different parts of the water column. That, that sheep's head head towards the bottom. But uh, yeah. And you hook anything big here, you're screwed. So you, you can't go too heavy on your tackle, man. I'm, I'm telling you, you're not just gonna get any bites doing this stuff. Good thing. Yeah, you gotta be get used to this happening, huh? A little black drum. I just don't like this in boat wakes. Is why I don't like fishing like underneath this stuff. Cause I'm gonna, I know I can take a big beating on boats start coming by. That's another black drum. Get up here, Mr. Drum. 
It's a drum, right? Or is that a sheep? Could be a sheep. Hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. Decent fish. All right, not, not too big. I'm gonna keep two fish. That's all I need for dinner. But there we go. Play a little catch and release from here. This one is uh, closer to porgy size, you know, 16, 17 incher. Nothing too big. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Oh, black drum. Pretty decent one. I don't know, he's probably about 22, 23 inches. Even these ones are a little big to eat, so you can you have them piece out. Fun fish, tough as nails, man. It's like the toughest fish. One of the toughest fish out there is those black drums. All right, so we're currently doing our rounds. We're gonna wrap this up pretty soon, probably. Um, I don't like sheep's head fishing in dirty water, and um, at least for sizable ones. I always find the big ones uh, tend to like the cleaner water more than the, the little guys. It doesn't seem to matter, but anything I'd say over you know five pounds, the odds are against you if, you're, if your water's pretty dirty. And the incoming tide got w worse, uh, as I expected the uh, incoming to possibly get cleaner, but it's like milky and stirred up. Um, so we're gonna make one or two more drops and I think we're gonna call it a day, man. Uh, overall, we get one good red, two black drum, and two sheep's head. It's not a slam dunk, but quality wasn't bad. Definitely was a bad quality fish. I think my best bite windows are on the outgoings right now, actually, so not really the incomings. Mm. That's what I'm taking away from it all right now. Trade is giving the first 100 people who click the link below 30% off your first coffee. Just click the link in the description below and use my code Elias V Fishing.